Hey y'all, I got Henry with me and we wanted to show you the little story of Little Mac written and illustrated by you. That's right, Stephanie Munford. This little story is dedicated to my sweet little boy, Henry. Do everything in love, 1 Corinthians 16, 14. This is a little story about friendship and a little bear who travels a very big distance to find his forever home. And show you some of the... Mom, and a little... Am I hiding your face? Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. And a little village in Japan was a little workshop. An old Japanese man was bent over a little work table humming a little tune. He was sewing the stuffing into a little bear. When he finished with his work, he gave a little smile at the little bear. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> the little old man put the little bear in a little box. The little bear was very scared, and the little box was very dark. The little bear could hear the old man still humming a little tune. His little box was being moved. The little bear was tumbled and jumbled around in the humming stomp was quiet. The little box stopped moving and had been put on a little shelf in the little workshop. The scared little bear cried himself to sleep. When the little bear woke up, he was no longer in the little workshop of the old Japanese man. In fact, the little bear was heading on a boat. boat. Good job. He was crossing a very big ocean to a very big country. The little bear was headed to America. America. In a little park, a young lady sat alone on a bench. She was very sad. It was her birthday and her special friend could not be with her. Her friend was across the big ocean in the country of... Um, Japan. Japan! Good job. She opened her Bible and prayed for her friend to come back soon. Then her special friend gave her an address. Go there and tell the man your name, he said. The young lady arrived at a little shop on a little street. She gave the little old man working behind the counter her name. Covered your face up again, Hen. <laughs> <laughs> the little old man disappeared to the back of the shop. He came back with the little box and set it down on the counter. She opened the box and inside found a scared little bear. Oh my goodness. Inside the little box was a note from her special friend. I pray this little bear brings you joy on your birthday. I miss you and we'll see you soon. The young lady cried happy tears and named the little bear. Um, Little Mac. And, and Little Mac it felt, felt loved. <laughs> the young lady took Little Mac to his new home. She set him on her table next to the note from her special friend. You put over my face. <laughs> Then she thanked God for giving her such a special friend, and she thanked God for the Mac. Little Mac. Because of her special friend across the big ocean in Japan, she would not be alone on her birthday, and Little Mac had found his forever home. Meet the real Little Mac. He is still in his forever home and still very much loved. Goodbye. Wait. Can I All right, Ian. Tell everybody bye. Bye. Say bye. go read it. Go read it.